Hi, I'm Joe Sinchella. I'm a head and neck cancer and reconstructive surgeon here at the University of California, Irvine. I'm here with my partner, Dr. Yara Haydar. We're here to go over some questions that we commonly get asked about head and neck cancer treatment. So let me just throw a case scenario at you here, Dr. Chella. A patient, 34-year-old patient, comes in with a new thyroid nodule. Um, how would you go about working, working this up? Yeah, so the first thing is, you know, thyroid nodules are often found by some other imaging means. So a patient has, is in an accident and they get an x-ray of their neck or um, they have difficulty breathing or headaches and so they get a CT scan of their head or neck and they happen to find thyroid nodules that they previously didn't know about. The first thing is to reassure most people that many, many people have thyroid nodules and they're very, very common. So just finding a thyroid nodule that isn't causing you any problems isn't really that much concern. But once a thyroid nodule is found, it's important to look into it and figure out what's causing the thyroid nodule. So the first step in determining what's causing a thyroid nodule is to get an ultrasound of the neck, and that's often what we recommend. Once you get an ultrasound of the neck, just from that image, you can tell if it's a concerning nodule or if it's something you don't have to worry about. The next step would be to get a biopsy of the nodule, and from that to discuss with your physician about what the biopsy results mean. All right, that makes sense. Thanks for answering that, Dr. Choa. Um, so if you have any concerns or a recent diagnosis of a thyroid nodule, feel free to contact us here at the University of California, Irvine. Thank you.